The further south we go, the colder it gets. The penguins' remarkable physical adaptations to the cold are certainly coming in handy. Even though it's midsummer here in South Georgia, it's absolutely freezing. Many of the scruffy looking chicks are getting ready to graduate to adulthood. By shedding their brown furry coats, which are warm but not waterproof, they begin to reveal their adult plumage. Soon, the new feathers will enable them to go swimming, something that this particular chick isn't quite ready for. Like the advert for a bad day, this young king penguin came running past us, soaked to the skin. Whether it was pushed or fell in water, we'll never know, but it does not look very happy. At this age, its feathers are there for warmth and are not waterproof at all. And this poor chick is going to have a most uncomfortable night. A little further along Fortuna Bay, a colony of Antarctic fur seals is in the midst of breeding season, and just about every possible territory here is taken. Blood on the snow heralds the recent birth of a pup. In darker days, this often signaled the relentless hunting of seals after it was discovered that their blubber and oil made great lubrication for machinery. Fur seals are better adapted to the ocean than they are to land. Their flippers make terrestrial movement awkward. They live in large family groups headed up by a territorial, and it must be said, dictatorial male. The driving force in his life is to protect his harem of females from other males, and to reproduce. This particular male is taking his harem defending duties very seriously. With more than 95% of Antarctic fur seals breeding here in South Georgia, it's no surprise that around every corner, the crew discover seals that have colonised just about every available space. And being midsummer, mating season is in full swing. There's an enormous sexual dimorphism here. The difference in size is, is very great. But when you have a harem of females and have to defend them and your territory from other males, then size does matter. And you have to be very big and very strong in order to get a territory. Eventually she has more than enough and fights them off. And that's exactly why battles between males are so common and fought so aggressively. Back on board, the ship is now in the midst of the Southern Ocean. The roughest, coldest and most notoriously dangerous ocean in the world. But, in return for weathering the storms, the ocean rewards travellers with a gift of such immense beauty, it defies comprehension.
in the next episode. The crew finally reach their destination at the bottom of the world. Antarctica.